right, so here's your number one featherweight contender. He got through a murderer's row to set up this shot at the title, and he knows this may not come around again. He's trying to make the most of it here tonight and head back home, the newly minted UFC featherweight champion of the world. The, the, the winning streaks that you have to have in order to get a featherweight championship opportunity is so great that when you get here, you have to make sure you're ready. This young man is ready. He's prepared mentally. He's prepared physically to go out there and try to become a champion. He told us time and time again, I'm the next Max Holloway. Let's see if he can get it done. It is so hard to get to this spot at 45, 55, 70. He has done it. Now the question beckons, is he good enough to do for him the champion? So here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC gold? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia El Matador And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. All right, here we go. Early round action with the UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. And when you want to talk about mixed martial arts evolution, perhaps no man has improved as much over the last two or three years than the featherweight king Alexander Volkanovsky. So much so that his opponent tonight doesn't necessarily know what he is in for. Gets caught with that punch. He's treading. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, huge left. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. That's his light is fast that right here. This is a terrible position. He a lot of fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Beautiful counter for both of Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, It's a master night. class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. 
Hopefully Fortier gets caught by that straight punch there. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh! Oh, he's attacking Choke now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fight on that there. Effective punch there by Topuria. Those are big strikes. Let's go. Nice crack there. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that's the He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Not there. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Topuri is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, oh, looks like that dose is tight. Oh, oh and there's stop. the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, all right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knock. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round here. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Topuri is in half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Mm, nice. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close his base. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighter is actually like that. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on bottom leg. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the pick. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just.
just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the... All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment... You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice strike. Right on the button. Great block there. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the defense, because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only gonna continue to get more. Oh, that's a solid blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think... Oh! Oh, he's hurt! Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Nice head kick. Oh, unable to find the target with that hook shot. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Huge shot he landed back and forth with that. Cannot sit in this position, referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Oh, good knee. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not And you know they still haven't found Alex over here. He's mixing up his target, he's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut, more blood by the minute. If head movement wasn't important early, it's very important now because that cut has gotten a lot worse. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something? Oh! Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bonanoski. What a moment in a career full of them for the featherweight champ, Alexander Volkanovsky, your winner tonight by way of knockout. Volk is next level, man. Man. This guy continues to raise the bar for fighters at featherweight. And tonight it showed once again that he's the best of the best with this knockout victory.